People around the globe have stared into the night sky to follow the comet Neowise as it streaks across the sky. The display of cosmic power has enchanted many, but for one man, it spells trouble. Here is Ian Lee. At three miles wide, Comet Neowise harmlessly sails around our sun. But what would happen if this violent ball of dust, ice, and rock changed course? With something like Neowise, um, take out a large country, maybe a continent. Jay Tate keeps an eye on our skies. He's the director of the Space Guard Center, an observatory on a windswept hill in Wales. Think of Tate as part of our solar system's neighborhood watch, tracking known asteroids and comets shown on screen as moving white dots. And then you can find out whether it's going to come uncomfortably close to um, the Earth or any of the other planets. The observatory is home to several telescopes. His latest will take him from watching our celestial neighborhood to exploring it. Okie doke. Now, this is the big one. The crown jewel. What does this give you? This allows us to be the detectives stopping the crime before it starts. And we'll be specifically looking at bits of sky that the major search programs at the moment aren't. NASA says it takes the threat seriously and currently monitors roughly half the night sky. Tate will add to their search, but it's not the big asteroids like those seen in Hollywood blockbuster Armageddon that worry him. What scares you? about what you're doing. What scares me are the little ones that don't hit the ground. Little ones, like the meteor that burst over the Russian city of Chelyabinsk in 2013. That one, for example, was less than 20 meters across and had the ability to take out a reasonable sized city. The little ones are much harder to see and much, much more frequent. And those are the ones that could take out New York, London, Los Angeles. Oh yeah, yeah. Jay says there are ways to deal with these threats. So with so much on the line, it may surprise you that none of his work is government funded. Space Guard runs on donations and help from volunteers. For him, that's a global problem. You think countries should take this more seriously then? Uh, when it comes to the, 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 the survival of the species, one would have thought it might be quite a good idea, yeah. Unless the rest of the world takes the situation seriously, we're leaving our fate to the cosmos. Ian Lee, CBS News, Knighton, 